Gopal Krishnagaru, Dallas Law, he is visiting and uh, he is a retired IAS officer. And uh, we thought having an experienced man in town, Manamu, we can definitely learn a lot from somebody like him. Given our you know, geopolitical situation in, in our AP, now that we have two states, both the states are in a very strong developmental um, focus, so they are going forward. So there's a lot of opportunity for new development and a lot of opportunity for entrepreneurs who want to invest in entrepreneurs or Telangana. As far as I can understand, all of you are probably anxious to know in the context of two states having been created, Telangana and the residual Andhra Pradesh, what could be the economic opportunities and what is the current scenario and what do we envisage is likely to be the future scenario is something which I think all of you would be anxiously awaiting for. I do not want to talk too much on the past happenings which led to the bifurcation of the state because we happen to be in a situation where the language, instead of being a uniting force, has been a dividing force. So we need to, therefore, look at not what has been in the past, but what lies in the future. So from that point of view, I would like to just briefly tell you what should be the economic background in the Telangana state as well as in the Andhra state. Both states have immense potential for development economically and also from the point of view of industries. But let us look at, at the present moment, what is the strengths and weaknesses of each state and what is it that we can look forward to in terms of investment for future opportunities. First thing, Telangana state is a fairly large state in the sense that 10 districts are there and therefore it is a viable state by itself from the financial point of view. And Telangana has a surplus, a revenue surplus and this revenue surplus has been continuing even after the formation of Andhra Pradesh and even prior to the formation of Andhra Pradesh. Primarily because very little money was spent on development activities in Telangana region. And most of the money came from the excise revenues. Because of liquor and other things, they got much more revenues than residual Andhra Pradesh. This is the background. Now, in the, therefore, Telangana has an advantage of revenue surpluses as far as the government is concerned. Also, Hyderabad is a strong advantage. Hyderabad happens to be the pharma capital of India. It happens to be one of a very strong IT centers, IT hub in India. Defense industry is likely to come up in a very big way in and around Hyderabad because of the establishment of the DRDO and many national level institutions, National Institute of Nutrition, CCMB, Indian Institute of Chemical Technology, a large number of central government institutions are there and central government public sector undertakings are there. Therefore, there is already a fairly well established industrial base in heavy industry, also in electronics, also in the IT industry. So anything related to that group of industries, there is ample opportunities except that you have to look at what is the scale of your operations. What is the limit of your investment? And therefore, whether it should be small scale, medium scale, or large scale is something which each entrepreneur would have to keep at the back of his mind. The second important thing that I would like to look at is, till now, one of the complaints in Telangana has been, very little has been done in, for social welfare, and something has been done for development, but all the development has been concentrated in and around Hyderabad to the neglect of the rural areas and the neglect of the districts. Certain backward districts like Mahabub Nagar, Nalgonda, there is need for some sort of a parity in this one. So we need to therefore have two aspects. One, development. Two, equity in development. In other words, an inclusive society. So you know, you need to actually, that is where the entrepreneurial spirit comes, how you are able to make the best use of an opportunity. See, Einstein was once asked, who is a leader? And Einstein said, a leader is one who sees opportunity and difficulty, who sees simplicity and complexity, and who sees harmony and discord. So you have to actually have that specific temperament if you have to succeed.
how is the uh, aviation and health industry is going to be? Is it going to be privatized or is it public sector? Right? You see, I think health industry government is unlikely to privatize. On the other hand, government is likely to utilize the corporate sector to provide services through insurance or directly, like your Arogyashri scheme or something like that. And because population wants better, I have a feeling that the corporate sector, because Hyderabad is attracting a large number of UK residents, large number of US residents, and mostly Middle East residents into Bombay hospitals and Hyderabad hospitals, Delhi hospitals. These three areas have been now recognized as actually good health hubs. So health industry certainly will have a good thing. Only thing is, all of them again is concentrated in Hyderabad, not in rural areas. In rural areas, also at the same time, there is. I want to just quote one thing in Sanskrit to show, even thousand years ago, how perceptive Shankaracharya set up four muts in Jyotir Mutt, Puri Mutt, Dwaraka Mutt, and Sringeri Mutt. After setting up these four muts, he sat on the bank of the Narmada saying, Okay, I have set up four months. My life is short. Will this much survive after me or will not survive after me? So he went into a meditation trance and then in meditation he wrote a small sloka. That sloka says, Chitram. Chitram at a strange element, Sanskritam though. Chitram Vatatarur Mule, and under the spreading banyan tree, Chitram Vatatarur Mule, Shishaha Ruddha. He said, in the future, I see a situation where old people are students, not young people. Shishyaha Vrugda, Guru Riva, but the Guru is a young fellow. That means technology will demand old fellows learning from young fellows. <laughs> you see, Guru, Shishyastu Chinnasam, Guru Astu Maunam Vyakhyanam, Guru is not talking anything. But Guru is making them think. By making them think, they are able to find solutions and therefore, shishyastu chinna samshayaha. All their doubts are clear. In the country, we also have to look at it. India had a rich Hori tradition. Unfortunately, somewhere that thread was lost. For example, I am a management teacher. I, I talk to management students. But let me tell you, I have found a beautiful sloka in Sanskrit. It says, Vastu, any article, any service. Vastur mulya, mulya meant a price. Vastur mulya, pramanena, quality or the standard it can own. Pramanena, samayena, timely delivery. Mitavyayena, the least cost. Sevena, with a service attitude. Mulya then becomes amulya. Mulya, vastur mulya, pramanena, samayena, mitavyayena. Sevena Amulyam Bhavati. It becomes Amulya. So our whole thing in industry is how do you combine high standards with low cost, optimize the timely delivery, and then provide it with a spirit of service. If you do this thing, anything that you offer is valuable. So there is a distinction between price which is fixed by the manufacturer, value which is perceived by the consumer as actually constituting these four elements. It's becoming a global village. Uh, it's not a world anymore. I think the boundaries are becoming global. I know there are two states and their uh, tensions are big. But I think in the bigger picture, I feel it will be, like you said, seeing the harmony in this card is the biggest thing. Like, I think that's the right thing. And I think we have a bright prospect for the whole country, not just the region. Like uh, costly areas like Jubilee Hills, Banjar Hills were given to only officers who don't, doesn't have any plot in Hyderabad. So in that time, he doesn't want to take it. So that's how honest is Gopal Krishna. He still lives in Nasa time, actually. So he already had a house, so he doesn't want to misuse that again. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Tony would have put on the 14th. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank Government policies and incentives on industrial growth in coming years. Seminar, June 14, 2014, Thursday. Thank you very much. <coughs>